Venable. Welcome to Outpost 3. No. The beginning. The visionaries. It seemed to you a regression, Mr. Campbell, our way of life here. As purples, you will each be furnished with a private suite. There's no excuse for tardiness when there's nothing else to do. Dinner is served. To be very clear, so there will be no misunderstanding next 18 months and if our situation doesn't improve you can count on less and less penetrated the grounds civilized life on the planet be vigilant every Yes, fishing might be too strong a word, but this one certainly becomes you. Don't you agree? We're the only ones who matter. Barris to say it gives me a tingle. <laughs> Enjoy the bon bouche. We did what we had to do. This is quite simply a tragedy. Where? An announcement. This will be our last breakfast. We're cutting back to one meal a day. What are you gonna do? You don't sound like you believe me. You're here to take us there. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon? All questions will be answered in due course. Eat. No contact from the Six International album. No, oh, I do not. The orders were to destroy it after us. And nothing would be more humiliating to a man such as yourself than to learn that a woman had more information than he did. Thanks. Maybe that's what was needed around here, hmm? On the way here, I came across a woman. I recovered. Did you? Start with... And the talk show host. Well, actually, I don't know that much about that. I will not. <laughs> Your shame. I want to see that part of you that humiliates you the most. Yes. Is this part of my death? Isn't everything? So then, do I pass? No. Good evening, Mr. Lincoln. Who is he with? No. He's enjoying it. A billion people and all you can think about is forning.
Neither have I. But you have family. The right people to the sanctuary. I've already been told I won't be joining the fortunate few. Be left here until we're overrun and my bones are broken and picked clean by the monsters. I will never forget your loyalty to me. Then must have had them delivered to show everyone what will be waiting for the Chosen. Perhaps you should take care of the horses before they die on the lawn. What do you mean? These past several months have been difficult for all of us. In my efforts to keep us safe, hell of a Victorian masquerade ball, exquisite costumes. <laughs> Pierce the firmament, desperate to find their way home, but also to celebrate that we have yet to join them. Well, each person has had an opportunity to participate in tonight's activity. <laughs> I'm to enjoy our good fortune. We shouldn't keep Mr. Langdon waiting. Ms. Mead. Terribly sorry for the delay. I certainly don't have to. But why deny myself one of life's simple pleasures? Now set that down and summon all your brain cells to clear your desk. I am HR, bitch. And everything else that matters around here, too. Now do me a favor and get the fuck out of my sight. Ah. Yeah. Ha -ha. Easy. How do you guys not OD? Oh, I just can't imagine. Says there's a gentleman here to see you. Apparently, he claims to have arranged this meeting with you himself. Uh. Don't ever call me babe. You promised to give me more agency in day-to-day -day matters. This would be a good opportunity. What is this cooperative? Uh... With the cooperative and ships, family, I don't even have a decent hobby. Make your own arrangements. I'm done here. I wasn't giving you a choice. I can't work here anymore. You can't work for a company. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my. Are you trying to frighten me? Okay. But then why do you two know about it? I remember seeing some silly show on the History Channel about some secret group that supposedly controlled the world. So... You would be... Can I help you? I don't respond to flattery. You need to turn around and go back the way you came. Might as well ask me to explain your hair. 